I'm coming in, put your clothes on. Hey. Good morning, you fuck. Good morning, Brad. What's going on? There's my uh, Put shit on your face. Yeah, I got a few things that I shoved down my throat. Like As what? you can see, my sponsor sent me. I can see that you still haven't mopped. Yeah, I might do it. Where are you going to put your Christmas tree at? My what? Your Christmas tree. You get a Christmas tree? A cookie cutter tree? <laughs> Is all you cookie cutters out there going to do their Christmas shopping, go into debt to spoil your kids so when they're young they expect things and they get older they want drugs? <laughs> Make them expect things without working for it? <laughs> Santa Claus changed, I I, you know, changed two letters. I partially agree with Satan. you there, actually. What? Changed two letters to Santa. What do you get? Satan. That's Look, not Christmas. A gorilla eating a banana. <laughs> well, I just ate a pound of flank steak. Ah, oh, shit. Where's the half a box see. of rice checks? A quart of lactose free milk. Where's the pan at? Where else? I'm it's it's cooled off first. Don't any maniacs put a hot pan in the freezer. Make sure it cools off. Yeah. Show them. Pull that thing out of there. When's the last time you washed that? That is so fucking disgusting. When the hurricane hit. <laughs> and to be honest, the reason I start putting it in the freezer... I'm surprised you're not eating the peel, too. I used to leave it on the stovetop. Until one day, I'm looking around and there was fucking maggots <laughs> floating around in my pan. So I figured... Did you clean it then or did you cook I them? I cleaned it then, the yeah. yeah. I think I may have cooked them up and then I was eating the maggots. Because I didn't oh, know. I was looking down. I was like, what the fuck is that moving around in there? Yeah. So what happens, I think, <laughs> mosquitoes or whatever, we're laying shit in here as a food source, and there's obviously water in there too, and oil, and then they were hatch growing, so now when you put it in the freezer, you can have that problem. Alright, what the fuck, what is this? Is this your... That's my first shipment of my sponsorship. Oh yeah? Came in yesterday. You want to open it up now? When we shut down these vitamins, keep it right now. Better fuel up before I work out. You are such a fucking pig. I can't, you know, how do you live like this? How, how can you be comfortable with this, in this Very. fucking filth, man? Very. I, I don't For I don't, somebody who has a good work ethic, workout, you know, you, you are so fucking lazy inside this house. Or this, not really. This dungeon. You mean not really, Leonard? Look at it. You should be fucking ashamed of yourself. How are you going to bring any broads back here? Or trannies, whatever. I could, but... What happened with the last thing you brought over here? I brought a veteran, actually. Today's Veterans Day. And I'd like to make a shout-out. I have her name. To all the veterans out there. You have yeah, her she name. had a oh, shrapnel boy. wound on her cheek. Young black girl. I met at a bus stop down there where Andrew lives. Oh yeah. And I just started talking to her and don't you don't need to give her last name, please. Her name was yeah Angelica. Angelica. Yeah, she was a U.S. U.S. Army veteran. Some type of explosive. Shout out to Angelica for Veterans Day. And what happened? Did you did you fuck her? Or? Well, I think she was on some pain meds, you know, obviously for the war injuries. Uh -huh. But she had those black tights on, perfect body, you know, in good shape. She's recently discharged. And I guess she was going to the VA troops. So she seemed a little out of it, but once I started talking to her, then I said a few things like, oh, I'd like to do. You need to come and soak your feet in my mouth after walking all the way for these buses. She started getting, I was like, oh my God, she was getting turned on. Oh, God. So I had my bike. And I said, hey, you want to come back to my house a little bit? She goes, sure. So I called a cab. <laughs> sure. and you actually, look harmless. <laughs> it was an ex-Haitian co-worker of mine named Thomas that had the big van type cab. Said, this is great. I put my bike right in it. And he so, just pulled up out of nowhere? Yeah, he pulled here. We stopped at the gas station in the corner. She bought a few cans of beer. And, uh, <laughs> we came she back. She had to get ready for you. Yeah, she drank some of the bed, took her clothes off. Excellent body. Big ass. Mm -hmm drinking beer so I'm laying down she's going down on me mm. very good and I like to see the shrapnel marks 
you know. Oh God. It was a turn on, so you know she was in combat and stuff. So you know she could take a beating, right? Yeah, I mean she was knocked unconscious. She said that. Uh, so what happened? She was sucking each other off. Then I gave her some heads. Good, what do you mean sucking good, each other off? Did she 69. Have a dick? Did she have a dick? Well, 69. Did and, she? Uh, did it have a dick? No, 69. Okay. And uh, so it was a real woman. Yeah. So. Oh, good. I think. What about a 71? Two fingers in her ass? <laughs> or two fingers in your ass, probably. But go ahead. Done that before. I Not know. recently. So anyway, <laughs> you know, 69 and she let out one of those silent farts. And I said, wow, I love that fart. I like how it smells. And she stopped and she got, she goes, why don't you fuck me? I said, okay, so I'm behind her. And I'm like, this is boring. I said, start calling me names. <laughs> I said, let's get some ice cubes. We can put it, you can shove them in my ass. <laughs> and she's like, and I said, well, I forget. what else I said? I said, try to fart on me again, come on. She goes, oh, she goes, I'm not ready for this. I said, what do you mean? I'm talking to you like it's the bus stop. She goes, all I said was that, she goes, it turned her on, but she didn't want to do it. Let's figure out women for you. That's why I go to trannies. Because they're, they're willing to do anything. They like the dirty talk, but when it comes over, oh, oh it was just turned. I didn't want to do it. Yeah. So you freaked her out by telling her you wanted to fart yeah, so on I her got, some more? Yeah, I wanted her to, yeah. Oh, she had God. a nice ass. And, uh, so what the hell are you? She, uh. Fecal Freak Leonard. Said, okay, let's go take. She got, let's take the bus military. I'll take her out of my home to West Palm. She was on their 45th Street, so. I grabbed my bike. We walked together down the neighborhood. Uh, the looks I was getting from these rednecks. They didn't have the balls to say anything now. This is a tongue cleaner. All that people with the stinky, smelly breath. I won't name any names, certain somebody from North Carolina. <laughs> tobacco breath. Get yourself a tongue cleaner. A lot of people use a toothbrush. This is better. The bacteria hide on the tongue. You scrape it off and rinse it. These are invaluable. This will take care. The breath doesn't really come from your throat. It comes from the tongue. All the filth, the sugary shit that just decays on you, filthy cookie cutter scumbags out there. That eat sugar? Go fuck yourself. They let them don't brush their teeth after eating their sugary shit. I I believe you. I eat sugar now too. I'd be dead if I didn't eat sugar. <laughs> I'll throw in Jay Masters mouthwash that I took. From his apartment. What? <laughs> For good measure. You took his. Oh, you're fucking gross, man. Why would you take somebody's mouth? Half of that's probably backwash. <laughs> I figure we're going to new gym today. It's bound to happen where some girl's gonna want me to put my tongue down her throat. All right, again, to get the main thing. Got these two packages yesterday, shipped by FedEx Express, top of the line. Not like the USPS with them. Couldn't even yourself. send a letter across the damn street. But if okay. you want to get your okay, stuff asshole. shipped properly, FedEx Express. Fuck you. The professional looking. When they come, heads turn. Yeah, okay, buddy. So there's mental morons at the. <laughs> I've seen them in action, a bunch of perverts. <laughs> these are heavy, as you can see, Brad. Look. Uh. That's a heavy packet, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, Jesus Christ. How much shit is in there? Open we'll it up, out. open it up. Hurry the f come on. It's from New World Nutritionals. Uh, they have a satellite office in Oldsmar, Florida. That's a good name for it, Oldsmar. Unlike Dale, he'll never be able to do something like this. Why? Because he doesn't get anything. Sure he does. He gets all the uh, Blackstone the stuff. The supplement pack. He gets he had to come down here. They won't even ship him up for what I heard. Where'd, he you, could, where'd you hear that? If he could show me something similar now. These are... Oh, fuck. For Christ's sake. There's no where you open the like, bottle and there's like half empty. This is in Mylar bags. Let's see here. Very impressive product. Wow. I'm not expecting this. 
You sure this is a protein powder? <laughs> yeah, well actually there's there's more. What is that? Let me see. Very, What's the other one? Come on. This is a the new world gallbladder cleaner and liver scrub. It's got you know your choline and acetal B vitamins, your taurine, the bed bedding, but then it has a taurosy doxycholic acid. Yeah, I heard that's the best liver cleaner on earth. Thank you very much. A gallbladder rinse. Great. What do you got, Dale? Something that makes your gallbladder look like Swiss cheese. Blackstone lab powder. This is my my cellar casein. Wonder got his kilos in today. It's an eight hour slow release, probably right before bedtime. Jesus. Man. This is impressive stuff. Wow. They sent you a lot of shit. Not like what's that what's Blackstone's product called? I don't know, man. Vanilla casein. What is that shit? Another long-acting protein, vanilla flavor. God damn! How much shit did they send? Strawberry you? casein, and this is quality product. This this type of material stays till 2019, and there's no right, big gaps like in bottles. What's in, the, what's in the other box? We'll find out. Wow, more. Fast acting whey protein isolate, great for after the workout. Mylar bag, probably a thousand dollars worth of material. I wouldn't leave those on the stove. What is that? No, it's not Is it more the same? Is it a more liver scrubs and gallbladder rinse? I got enough liver scrub to I'm 200 years old. It'll probably make me that old. Oh, you cook, you gotta say I got liver problems. Well, once I start using this, I'm gonna get my values checked, and you'll see. What about that? Getting more liver check. scrub and gallbladder rinse. Oh, I think they're trying to tell you something. More fast acting whey isolate. Great. Man, they hooked you up. Jesus. Well, I'm doing them a favor. I'm the biggest bodybuilder on this earth. So it's a mutual partnership. A very impressive product nonetheless. nonetheless. Pure egg protein, old school. More whey isolate. Is your nose running? Yeah. More egg protein, old school. Man, you're fucking stocked up now. So I got the nighttime protein. How the much you think all that shit? How much you think all that shit's worth? Well, with the liver cleaners, well over five hundred bucks. No but shit. But it just scratched the surface when I told my sponsorship. Oh damn. So didn't get any apparel, but. It's coming. All right, good. Let me grab my tank top. Yeah, get the fuck out what of What do you here. think about that, Dale? <laughs> Let's see you show boxes coming in. You won't. You got to come in here and pay for it. And if he, Dale makes a little video, watch, he'll be leaving sales receipts on like a dope that he is. <laughs> okay. Seems to me I was on Anadrol every time I tore something for the most part. Anadrol. What have you torn? Torn my right bicep, my left bicep, yeah, I tore my right that, bicep. Well, that's scar. a different Let's tear. Well, this is a tendon tear. I took, ripped Jesus the tendon Christ. completely off the, off the attachment. I severed the, the tendon. I remember when you were wearing that big fucking arm brace yeah. for a while. How long did you? That was like six months. Yeah, you I had a doctor say I'll never lift, be able to row more than a plate again. I was going to take a gun to my head. But then again, if I would have listened to him, you know, they could have got me. Yeah. <laughs> well, you wouldn't be able to row with full range of motion anyway. I tore, I, know, I did tear a right pec like you did. Oh, yeah. when I was training with Mark. I tore my lat, I tore my ass muscle twice. <laughs> Hamstring muscle, the adductor muscle. Are you sure it wasn't muscle. a tranny tearing your ass? <laughs> oh, by the way, I was looking at a back page and I stumbled upon oh, I'm surprised. See what Alabama had to offer. Man, they had to offer them one of the best why ones. You, why the fuck do you look at other states? The best ones so, I you don't fucking saw. You don't even leave this state. Why the fuck would you look at other states? To check out the talent. And man, I saw one back, back page transgender, Alabama. Her name is uh, Lucy. Good lord. They all call her Luce. Good lord, you gotta see her. He's fucking oversensitive jerk-offs got um, J Masters Instagram disabled. <laughs> By who? Who disabled it? No, people fucking report everything he does. And the one that he that he got flagged was he was putting like meme pictures of you up. Yeah. And it said 
one of them said the look you give when you see a tranny with an 11 inch cock yeah. it's a picture of you when you were shaved and your eyes were bugged out that's a compliment yeah and then another pic <laughs> and then another picture was you in your posing trunks at the ruby and it said something about a tranny again and they said they flagged them and then instagram sent them a message like about nudity and whatever it's like he what so that's my friend he was in his posing trunks at a bodybuilding competition so he's disputing that they say they didn't delete it the first one he got deleted this one he got disabled for a couple when of days when did they become a moral authority yeah i know well i i guess apparently they have strict rules but that only applies to people that get fucking reported because oh, there's so much shit on there that people get away with yeah. it, it's nothing compared to what you know what he does is nothing you know I'm sure but it, DJ's it's, doing the reporting. I don't think it's him. I think it's one of his dick riders. Yeah. You know, one of the fucking Sensitive. Little, little dorks that are just monitoring everything Jay Masters fucking does. Because they got a heart on for him. Because he, you know, he trolls them. Andrew called them master troll masters. <laughs> uh, he's getting good at it. But, you know, when you do that shit, this is what's going to happen. But, whatever. That's why, you know, there's no such thing as freedom of speech. It's horse shit. There's consequences for everything. It's... Oh, by the way, I'd like to make a request, which is really oh, God. something I really need. One of the viewers could contact Lucy from Alabama, Backpage Transgender, and have her come do a video with the Misfits. See if you can work that one out. How it's many, not that far how away. How many Lucys I'm sure from Alabama travels. are there? Transsexual Lucy. <laughs> There's only one. That's the only... <laughs> she's on back page as we speak. Uh, where are your leggings today, Leonard? You didn't get new ones? No, nah, they ripped and... See, I skinned my legs. I gotta wear my old sweatpants for when I do the deadlifts. Rip the skin up a little bit. What, that's from the bar? Yeah. Jesus. The other one because I ride it high, close to the body. But I've seen the Kui cutters, you know, they've been doing this for a little while, but I've actually finally noticed it. What's that? You know, the, wearing the le those leggings and then shorts over top and then a hoodie with a hood down, their head down, so no one can see them. That drives fucking Andrew nuts. Talk he about it, people, I don't blame him. Uh, he gets so annoyed. Who do they think they are? And by the way, <laughs> I see... Well, he'll remain nameless. I'll call him, well, we'll just refer to him as Donovan McFlab. Oh, boy. Was wearing that at LA Fitness. I mean, he's trying to not get noticed, that's why. Yeah, that's well. Why people bothering him, I'm sure. He bothers me with his cookie cutter. You're an NFL quarterback. He's pretty good. He was a tough guy. And he has to turn into a cookie cutter when he retires. Donovan McFlab. Maybe, maybe he was always a cookie cutter. Nah. I don't think so. He was, he was tough. Stuck his head in there. Yeah, he can play. What drives me fucking nuts, man. We are... <laughs> there, it, for some reason, people like to bring their jump ropes to the fucking gym. <laughs> Which, I don't give a shit if you go, like, in the aerobics yeah, yeah. section or in the basketball court. But yeah. right in the middle of the weight room, these motherfuckers yeah. are jumping rope in between sets. Uh. And then one asshole yesterday was jumping an imaginary fucking rope. Oh. I, I just, I'm fucking... I swear. Almost lost it. They don't want to do the basic result producing exercises that you and I do because it's uncomfortable. Is it fun going in there pushing all that weight after working all the other levels? Yeah, but whipping a fucking rope around in the middle of the weight room, man? First of all, it's, it's, fuck, it's basically man. useless. And I saw a guy take a five-pound barbell, a fixed barbell, and put it in one hand and twirl it around like a baton, like he's doing what? like a steering wheel with it. Oh, come what on. What the hell? And the worst I saw was at LA Fitness, this porch monkey is laying oh. on the ground, and any of those stacks of, those plastic stacks of crap that they used to stack up. Yeah, yeah. He had, he would take, I guess for abs, he would take one plate and put it to this side, then grab it and then put it back and put it back and stack them up like it's going like that oh. with those fucking things. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Got some big boys here. <laughs> big flower lifters. Look like farm boys. This Looks like Dale Chance. <laughs> the fat rednecks. Yeah, see, they redid this whole thing. Before it was, you enter on the side. This used to be a movie theater. You or your motorcycle then taking up with a whole knee wraps, fucking look, spot. God, with sucker. knee wraps. God damn it. Like knee wrap Nate. Yes. Let me turn this shit off. I can park.